Okay guys, um, wow, the, the war just ended in pretty much a status quo for almost everyone. Um, some Russian territories got given to Austria, Hungary, and Germany, and the border just looks so ugly right now. <laughs> I hope this is fixed. Like, Joke Avian suits. These things are owned by Austria, Hungary, and these are owned by Germany. That's gonna be a problem for Germany if Austria Hungary falls apart like it's gonna Alright. Well Looks like we're gonna have the hard task of getting our getting our roads back on track. First that's the end mobilization. Mobilization actually gave me, uh, it actually gave me, uh, it, it gave me a lot of manpower for my unit because a lot of these guys were down to like 10%, now they're all up to 66%. So, it was actually, it was actually a good thing that it gave me more. Okay, it's the economy. So, a war with Montenegro wouldn't be a good idea, but a war with, um, Albania, I could certainly take some of these territories. I, I can't believe I survived that. That is such a surprise. Yeah, it'd give me, um, four. Wow. That makes me happy. Um, wow. Unfortunately, though, I think that means Austria-Hungary is not going to fall apart. And the Versailles, the Treaty of Versailles will never happen. Wait a second. Is Belgium still out? I'm no longer at war. And... But there is still a war on. There is still a war on! Wow! Oh, um... Looks like the Easter Rising is happening. Wow, there is actually... There is still... The war is still fighting, I'm just not in it. And I intend not to be in it, so I'm going to, um... I'm gonna go and break my alliance with France. Dang, I'll have fun, sorry. Well, I'm just gonna hope that I'm not dragged into another war. And, um... I'm gonna skip ahead again. Alright guys, progress report on the uh, war that we're no longer involved in. Looks like Bulgaria has lost territory in, uh, inside of, in this place, Haskava or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Italy has been cut in half and is falling apart rapidly. France still holds the line. For some reason, Italy somehow landed troops in uh, southern Denmark for some strange reason. So now Italy owns all of southern Denmark, which is owned by Germany. And let's see, is either one of those uh, 
victory. Nah, neither is a victory province. I believe they landed in Kiel, because I remember they had originally owned Hamburg, which would have made it a victory province, but they don't, they don't anymore, so. Yeah. Oh, as long as I have time, I might as well say, um, I'm gonna get Europe Universe Palace 3 soon, which, uh, I'm really looking forward to, because I played the, um, demo to that game. It was really fun. Um, yeah, I just, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna get Europe Universe Palace 3, um, complete. Not the two new expansion packs, but it comes with the Ambition and the other one. The other older one, and, um, I'm also getting Europe Universalist Room with the Vivic Dis expansion pack. So I'll have, like, after that I'll have, like, a nice little box collection to play from. Actually, I don't own that many computer games, but I'm like 10. <laughs> and half of them are on Gamer's Gate, so I don't even own the discs. Oh yeah, that contest, someone won it. I can't remember what his name was. But, um, whoever you are, just send me, or give me your email, and I'll, uh, send you the, um, thingy for the game. So you can have it. And I think, now that we've survived the, um, now that we've survived World War One and World War One on the Eastern Front last ended. Um, I'm gonna have to say that's it for now, and thank you guys for watching, and I hope you uh, watch later where I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just keep rebuilding my economy, and we may invade Albania just to take their industrial capacity. Thanks for watching, and um, 